Low AMH, it's not the end of the road. Low AMH does not mean no hope. It just means we need to plan smarter and sooner. Hi, I'm Dr. Pratibha Govindaya, Senior Gynecologist, Fertility Specialist and Lab Surgeon at Janya Fertility, HSA layout. AMH or anti-mullerian hormone is a blood test that helps estimate your ovarian reserve. In simple terms, it tells us roughly how many eggs are left behind in your ovaries. But let me be clear, it doesn't measure your ability to conceive and it doesn't say anything about egg quality or your uterus, both of which matter in conception. So yes, a low AMH means fewer eggs, but it does not mean your eggs are bad. Many women with low AMH have gone on to have successful pregnancies, both naturally as well as with assisted reproductive technologies. What's important is how you respond to fertility treatment. Doctors now use individualized IVF protocols tailored for women with low AMH. That means adjusting medication, timing and support to get the best possible outcome from eggs you do have. Acting early gives you an edge because while AMH naturally declines with age, your options are greater when you catch it early. It's not about rushing, it's about making informed choices while time is still on your side. There are also other ways to preserve your dream of parenthood. If you are not ready yet, egg freezing can be done. Low AMH is a challenge, but it's not the end of the road. It's a sign to pause, gather the right information and create a plan that's just right for you. If you have been told your AMH is low, don't panic. Talk to a fertility expert. Explore your options early because knowledge and timing can make all the difference. For any questions, do feel to contact us at Chanya Fertility.